Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial where we will compare Iron XL versus Spire XLS. So to create a project for this comparison, we create a new console app project from the file menu. And then we're going to uh, right click on the solution panel and choose the manage NuGet packages option. And so that's so we can install the Iron XL, Inspire.xls, and Spire XL standard packages. So we install the packages to our project by searching the respective library names in the search bar of the NuGet package manager. So first is Iron XL. that is spire.xls and then we'll move on to spire xls standard so there you go so we then start our program by including the Spire and Iron XL libraries to the program by using the using function to call the library. In our code, we'll look at how to create the Excel files using both libraries and convert from CSV to Excel. So this first part of the code will deal with converting CSV to Excel using Spire and Iron XL. With Spire, we initialize the workbook and then load the CSV file using the load from file function. The worksheet is then populated with data from the CSV file while following the stipulated delimiter, which will auto-fit the content between rows and columns. And then the content is then saved as an Excel file. With Iron Excel, there's only three lines of code required. The rest is automated background process embedded in the background. We only load the CSV file, then it automatically creates and populates the XLS file. This other part of the code will deal with creating Excel files with using Spire and, Excel and Iron Excel. With Spire, you'll need to create a workbook, then create a sheet in the workbook, then you can populate it uh, with the information. Then using the file stream, you then save the created XLS file. Here you can only populate content in a range of cells. So with Iron Excel, you can create a workbook and a sheet, which you then populate with data. And Iron Excel allows you to also add style to the cells in your Excel sheet. So let's test our code. And we'll run the project and see what it gives us. Once you run the project, it creates different Excel files for the various portions of the code. So let's see what's in the files. So this is our CSV file. All right, so now let's see our conversion to XLS with Spire. And here is going to be the conversion to XLS with Iron XL. So let's look at the Excel files are created with Spire. We had a file that contained four sheets, uh, one which was the default Spire evaluation sheet, two empty sheets, 
and then one that included the information that we added to the sheet. And then in this sheet, we'll be able to see the cell containing the data that we added to the sheet we created using IronX cell. All right, there you go. We've come to the end of this comparison, and I hope that you found everything to be useful and really helps you um, making your decision which Excel library uh, to use for your project needs. So as always, if you have any further questions, our support team is standing by ready to assist.